Hello, welcome to another Debaco University video. Here we're going to be looking at the cannabis naming system that's currently in place and some of the issues involved with that system when it comes to naming. You can see here some dried flower, we kind of have the name tags here that have nothing on them. And a lot of times, even though it may say a name on it, we may not have a very valid name. And we'll talk about that here. So first off, there's the International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants. This is the ICNCP. This regulates the naming of plants whose recent evolution has been influenced by human selection. So of course, this would apply or pertain to cannabis based on that definition. However, when we're looking at naming certain types of cannabis, a lot of times we're using the term cultivar. Now, when we're using the term cultivar, we have to realize that this is a unit of classification and it has a very specific definition. It's an assemblage of plants that A, has been selected for a particular character or combination of characters, B, is distinct, uniform, and stable in these characters, and C, when propagated by appropriate means, retains those characteristics, which is when we're looking here at different types of cannabis or any plant in general, this means it's basically, it's a uh, unique form, it's a kind of distinct uh, characteristics, and it is uh, able to be propagated. So this is what defines a cultivar. Now, when we're looking at the room, the rules for naming a cultivar, I want to think of it kind of like a sports event here. So the ICNCP has rules for naming, describing cultivars, uh, involve valid publication, typification, and priority. This is available online for con uh, consultation and regarding these provisions. So they are available to kind of take in some feedback and to be able to provide some uh, suggestions as well. Cultivar names meaning that the ICNCP provisions are placed in single quotation marks. It's the proper way to kind of scientifically, uh, scientific name for that given plant species. And there's the genus, the specific epithet, and then the cultivar um, there listed in those qu single quotes at the end. We're not talking just about a simple common name that has basically no rules, and there may be multiple names for the same plant, and this also applies to animals. Now, variety, form, and strain do not equal the same as the word cultivar. So Article 2.2 uh, stipulates that the words variety, form, and strain must not be used uh, for the word cultivar. Cultivar is its own distinctive kind of entity. Strain is not uniformly recognized, uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And strains are conceptually identical to, cu to cultivars in concept, but almost no strains have met the official ICNCP requirements for cultivar recognition. And all these sources would be located in the description here of this video. Rules are in place for a reason. So like anything, they may, we may not agree with all of them, but they are in place for a reason. There's an argument of the bigger picture justifies using strain and cultivar as equivalent. So it's kind of like, well, where we have these rules, let's we'll just call them the same thing. And that's really not the case here. The, uh, so the, uh, the research here, small in uh, 2015, reported that they showed insufficient respect for co codes of nomenclature which hold uh, pragmatic and moral status. By quoting, the botanical codes are by and large adhered to by scientists, commercial interests, and editors because they provide stability and reliability to names that otherwise would result in confusion. So I think the cannabis industry right now is kind of like using the the code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules when there are official rules in place for the proper naming. And just keep calm and follow those rules, otherwise it's kind of going to result in a bunch of confusion, which sadly we have a lot of right now. Now the strain names, so strains become kind of numerous. The Leafly quote in 2015, they listed about 1,535 strain names. Seed Finder in the same year listed 6,510 strain names. Most strains are recognized as hybrids, characterized as sativa dominant or indica dominant. Keep in mind though that strain names are swapped and counterfeited and generally unreliable. So they're kind of like the picture we have here with kind of the salt or sugar around it. Kind of can, wind can come through and it can change and look completely different. And that's sadly what we're having with these various strain names in cannabis. Now what's in a name? Well, any strain that has not been formally described as a cultivar, for example, the so-called sour diesel should properly be named as 
uh, cannabis in italics, strain sour diesel. The popular's name is without single quotation marks. Remember that these names have no taxonomic validity. So just because you may know it as sour diesel, just because it may be listed on the package as sour diesel, these really don't have any ta true taxonomic scientific validity to those names. Now, kind of getting to that strain name uh, variability, kind of pointing this out, AK-47 won the best sativa in the 1999 Cannabis Cup and then one best indica four years later. So even in kind of the cannabis cup of high times, there's been a single strain that won best sativa, and then four years later went and won best indica. So this kind of helps prove that the reliability of these strains is not really that great. Uh, last here, we're looking at just some uh, questionable kind of pedigree, the claimed industry of super sour diesel haze from Seedfinder. As you kind of go through and read through here, what gives it kind of its questionable pedigree is when you see the words like murky pedigree. It's either this or it could be that. Um, that should throw up uh, kind of some caution there of like a red flag, of, like some things may not quite uh, be right there. Um, and we see the terms like likely derived from uh, another example there where just because we know we have this end product, where it actually came from is not really well defined. And a lot of that goes back to the poor naming system currently in place.